This week we're taking a look at the new DC Comics original, Batman Ninja. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Batman Ninja, directed by Junpei Mizuzaki, is the latest addition to the DC Universe and follows the caped crusader who finds himself in an altercation with Gorilla Groot and his time machine, sending Batman and his friends into ancient Japan. In this alternate timeline, each Gotham criminal rules over different states of Japan and are constantly waging war against each other. The Joker, however, reigns over all these provinces, which means the Dark Knight and his newly found followers need to restore peace in these perilous times. Now before I go any further, I just need to say Batman Ninja is one of, if not the most beautiful animated films I've ever seen. The art style is true to Japanese anime, it contrasts 3D elements amongst the 2D designs perfectly, and the backdrops and scenery were breathtaking. That and the brilliant sound design creates an atmosphere like no other. Another thing worth mentioning is the costumes, which were expertly crafted, especially Joker's coats and pants adding his maniacal flair to traditional Japanese garments, as well as Batman's final samurai ninja look which did justice to his character as well as the time and place in which the film is set. Batman Ninja is a much needed departure from the countless Batman animated movies that DC release. It feels fresh, yet the traits which make a Batman movie what it is are still there. Best of all, the opposing chemistry between Batman and the Joker. Now Kevin Conroy, who usually voices Batman in these things, stepped aside for this one, and the role went to Roger Craig Smith, who played Batman in the Arkham Origins video game. Joker was played by Arrested Development's Tony Hale, his first time stepping into the shoes of the clown prince of crime. And might I say, behind Mark Hamill, Tony Hale's Joker is one of the best. <laughs> Haven't you heard? Everyone's been calling me Dairoku Tin Mouth, the Demon King, the most powerful man in Japan. But you can call me Lord Joker. He perfectly captures the complete madness and his haunting laugh is chilling. <laughs> These relatively new to the series voice actors help add to the fresh direction this film takes us. Now I realise I'm yet to mention any criticisms for this movie and that's because there are very little. Gun to my head I'd say that the side characters that help Batman in his quest are quickly introduced and seem like they have more of a story to tell than what we're getting. But that's a petty complaint really, because the characters seem fleshed out and the film already runs longer than your usual DC animated film. But if you're a fan of Batman, this movie is a must see, especially if you're looking for a fresh take on the hero we know and love. Have you seen Batman Ninja? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. But thanks so much for hanging out, if you had a good time then spank that like button, and if you subscribed during this video then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.